everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some NBA action from February the 13th, but before we do, I want to invite you to join. So you will have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. All right, so NBA action getting set for the All-Star break, so teams want to be playing well heading into that to make a push for the second half and the playoffs. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the games. The first one we want to look at is, as we go down through, there's quite a few games here. First one is, let's go over here, Denver Nuggets and Miami Heat. Miami comes in burning hot, winners of their last two, and three and three over their last six. While Denver is average, they are four and two over their last six, but just one and two over their last three. You can see as far as the over-under goes that Denver has been games over the line in five of the last six, while Miami has been involved in games over in three of the last six. The score predictor has Miami by a 112 to 104 score with just about 50% level of confidence in the prediction. The power ranks indicator shows Denver's near the top of the league here. They're at plus 26, while Miami has been up and down. They are currently back on a slight upswing and they're at plus 18. In the head-to-head -head matchup, um, Denver won the first game between the two teams as a home favorite by a five-point margin, 124 to 119. How consistent are the teams with regard to their favorite underdog status? The team volatility oscillator will tell us this. Denver at 22, Miami at 16, so they are both very stable in that department. In the end, I like Miami to return the favor on this one, but I will pass on the over-under bet. Brooklyn and the New York Knicks. This should be a really good contest here. The Knicks coming in average down, winners of three of their last six, coming off of a loss to Philadelphia. And Brooklyn is average, and they are also three and three over their last six games. As far as the over-under goes, Brooklyn has been games over the line four of the last six, while the Knicks have been over in three and under in three. The score prediction has Brooklyn by a one-point margin, 111 to 110, with 67% level of confidence in the prediction. On the power ranks indicator, New York, on the upward trend, they were at plus 17 just about a week ago, and they are now at plus 22. Brooklyn on a downward trend from 26 down to 20. Head-to-head, -head, you can see that in the two games this year, Brooklyn won both of them. First one by a blowout, second one by seven, both of them at home. The stability factor, you can see that uh, both teams are pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Although Brooklyn was at plus 13, they dipped to uh, plus 8. So recently, they have not been as consistent in that regard. But in the end, I expect the Knicks to bounce back and take this one. They're playing better ball lately. I thought the Knicks in a game over the line. And the next one we want to look at is Minnesota and Dallas. Dallas coming into play burning hot. They won their last three and five of the last six. While Minnesota's average down, they're coming off of a loss, and they're three and three over their last six. As far as the over-under is concerned, you can see that um, Minnesota is involved in games over the line in five of the last six games, while Dallas is over in three and under in three. The score predictor has Dallas by a 120 to 108 score with 54 44.4% level of confidence, so a little less than the toss of a coin there. Not a very high level of confidence in that pick. Um, take a look at the power ranks indicator, as we always like to do. Minnesota up and down. They've been hanging around this 11, you know, down to 13 range, and they are now at plus 11 again. And Dallas is at plus 25. Head to head. We see that in the two games this season, Minnesota has won both of them. Actually, no, excuse me. Minnesota has won one and Dallas has won one. Dallas won as a road favorite and Minnesota won as a home underdog. The stability factor, again, I always like to look at this. This is In this game here, it's a big margin of difference here. You can see that Dallas is plus 20, much more consistent with regard to the favorite underdog stats compared to Minnesota, which is just plus five. And they've never been very high this season. The highest mark was at plus eight. So what do I think in the end? I do like Dallas. I don't see that this is going to be much of a contest. Dallas at home by double digits and go over the line. The last game we want to look at for the day is Washington at 
Golden State. Uh, Washington comes in average. Golden State average down. Both teams are three and three over their last six games. The teams are trending on opposite sides of the over under line. You can see Golden State has been involved in games over the line in five of the last six, while Washington has been involved in games under the line in three of their last six. The score predictor has Golden State by a 123 to 113 score, so it looks like a high point total here, and a good confidence level of prediction of 77%. The power ranks indicator can show which way the teams are heading. Uh, Washington was at 14. They have dipped, and they have been steady at plus 4 over the last few days, while Golden State has increased from plus 11 up to plus 19 over the last four days. Head-to-head, -head, the teams met just a little less than a month ago, with Golden State winning by 9 as a road favorite. I don't see much difference in this one. I like... Um, Golden State to win this one, and I like them to do it rather easily and in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for February the 13th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.